I've had all the pieces for my combination lock model laser cut by Hot Pop Factory and I cut these joints right together like this. So let's compare that first to this test piece I cut at the UNB Makerspace. On the box joint on this test piece I have a play of about 21 thou but because this cut is slightly tapered if I flip it over the play now is 34 thou and now this piece so these two pieces were cut together like this and now I've put that on there and let's see how far I can slide it back and forth by almost 10 thou which is to say the kerf width of this plus this is 10 thou and 10 thou is about a quarter millimeter so the kerf width on here is about an eighth of a millimeter but if I flip this over because the cut is a little bit wider on the top and this way I take the uh, wider slot on the top and this piece has got a wider piece remaining on the bottom um, that will be a little bit more that would be about 11 thou a tiny tiny bit more and a viewer who does uh, laser CNC cutting asked for the test file that I had and he cut that out for me as well and let's check this one so there's about seven thousandths of an inch of play and if I flip it over Tenthou. So uh, this one is tighter than the other one, but with a little bit more taper. But even without a dial indicator, you can see this wedge only pushes in a little bit here, versus much more here, and just a humongously wide cut. And if I flip this over, it goes in quite a bit further, and on here, hardly noticeable. So I guess the uh, cut quality depends a lot on what kind of machine you got and how carefully it's been tuned. Uh, the one at the uh, UNB is clearly not well tuned and this other guy who does it for a business on himself has probably spent a lot more time tuning his.